Hi, my name is Ken Lin. I'm a librarian at West LA College. Today, we'll be going over how to use ProQuest to find articles. So first, we'll open a browser window and go to the West LA College homepage, www.wlac.edu. And on the left-hand side of the homepage, you'll notice a link for the Library and Learning Center toward the lower left-hand side. So go ahead and click the link. And on the right-hand side of the website, there is a link for our research database, which is where you'll find ProQuest. It's next to the little magnifying glass icon for our research. Then you'll notice several databases listed on our research database space. So we'll need to scroll through many of them toward, almost toward the bottom of the page until we get to the link for ProQuest. Click on ProQuest. You'll notice this search box is a single search box similar to Google. You can put in whole questions. But usually you'll get better results when just using keywords. You'll notice, if you notice there's this check box next to full text. You'll want to leave that checked to have articles which are complete instead of just abstracts or summaries. There's also another checkbox for scholarly journals if your teacher requires academic journals, peer review journals, or scholarly journals. Those are all synonyms for articles that are more academic in nature. So for example, we'll be searching for book reviews on the book The Hours by Michael Cunningham. Usually you want to leave out artic leading articles such as a, and, or the from the title and put in just the main words that you're looking for. We'll put in review. And then we can use the wildcard character that's with question mark, which leaves it as a blank or an S, so we can search multiple forms of the word. If you get this pop-up for a um, survey, you can always say no thanks. And we'll scroll through our results to see if anything is relevant to our t paper that we're trying to write. You notice many of the results may just have the word hours on Saturday or hours worked. So since our title is so short, we would actually probably most likely need to add the word the because this is the only other word we have in the title. We will also want to use the quotations so it searches for the whole title as a group or as a whole instead of individually where the the and the hours could be all over the article. When you put it in quotes, the and our have to be next to each other in your results. So go ahead and click on search again. A little magnifying glass icon over here on the right hand side. And if you scroll through your results you'll notice a lot more of the results are for the entire title, the hours. Usually if you have a longer title you would not need this uh, leading article but since it's such a short title um, we needed it in our results. A lot of these results you might see in reviews might be for the uh, movie instead of just the book. So another way to search for a, a book review or book uh, article about a book would be looking for criticism, which is more an academic form of a review of the book. And then you scroll through your results until you find the article most suited f for the topic of the paper you're writing. So here, this looks like an academic. When you see this um, mortar cap, like a professor's cap, you would be able to um, know that's an academic journal. Usually those articles are better in quality or more in depth. So once you have the article you like, you can email this ar entire article to yourself by clicking on this email link in the blue toolbar toward the top of the page. And when you're emailing the article to yourself, you can include the bibliographic citation. Usually for English, you would use MLA, 7th edition. You put in your email address.
and then put your name. And you would probably want to replace the subject line with something more descriptive like Cunningham, the hours, criticism. Just something that you remind you of what the article um, in the email you sent to yourself. Also, if you want to print the article right away, you would want to use this print link within this blue toolbar as well. You don't want to use the print function that's directly in your browser because you sometimes it'll confuse the printer and you get a lot of garbage from the side frames of the article. And it'll reformat in, into a format that's more friendly to the printer. And then can also include the citation on the printout as well. If you want to directly copy the MLA citation to your paper or your Word document, you can go ahead and make sure the citation style is in the style that your teacher is requiring, which is MLA 7th edition. Click Change. You can go ahead and copy and paste this into your Works Cited page in your article. You have to pay attention to the order of the last name and first name as well as the capitalization. That's where usually with the computer generated citation um, makes its mistakes. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions, feel free to come back to the library to go over ProQuest.